ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் தி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பிட்வீன் ஜாவா அரை அண்ட் சி ப்ரோக்ராமிங் அரை ஸோ இன்னவர்ஸ் இன்னவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் வாட் ஆர் த வேஸ் டு கிரியேட் ஆஃப் அரை இன் ஜாவா அண்ட் ஹவு டு இட்ரேட் தி அரை எலமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் ஜாவா so if you haven't watched that video so the video link is available in the description so please watch it so now in this video i am not going to explain about what are the ways to create a array and how to iterate the array elements in java we have already we have discussed in the previous video so now in the in this video we are going to concentrate on what is the difference between java array and c programming array so the very first different and the main different is coming to c programming arrays are data type but coming to java arrays are object so this is the main and most important different between c programming array and the java programming array so i am repeating the point once again so coming to c programming arrays are data type but coming to java arrays are object so if it is a c programming so how we will declare the array so i will declare the array like this let me say int arr and during compilation time itself i will specify the size and based on the size i will give the elements in that array so finally you can see the declaration of array in java while declaring the array during compilation time itself i am initializing my array size and based on this array size i will initialize my values i mean the number of elements so why i am specifying the size during compilation time itself so the reason is coming to c programming array is a data type so that should allocate the memory during compilation time itself so that's why during compilation time i am specifying my array size now let us come to java so coming to java as we know that arrays are not a data type so that's why during compilation time i will not specify the size over here so in case of java if i am specifying the size here itself you can see it is giving the syntax error we is coming to java arrays are object which mean during compilation time i cannot allocate the memory so then what i will do since it's object during run time i will allocate the memory right during run time i will allocate the memory so this is the most important difference between c programming array and java array so after that maybe if i want i can initialize the values with the help of the array index uh, position or i can go for the second way of array so let me create array like this so as we discussed in our previous video this is also one more way of array creation in java so you can look at the difference between the previous one and this one in case of previous one i was using a keyword new but here i am not using a keyword new even though it is a object and it will get allocate the memory during run time okay friends don't forget so finally i may create a array by using new keyword or without using new keyword whatever it is during run time it is going to allocate a memory bias arrays are object in java in both syntax you can see i am not specifying the size during compilation time so this is in case of array creation uh, in c as well as java programming 
So now let's see how to iterate this array elements in C. In case of C programming, what I will do? Since array index starts starting from 0, I will start a loop from 0. I less than, I have to hard code my size value. Because during compilation time, it's allocating a memory. So which means during compilation time itself, the programmer or the compiler know the size of the array. So that's why I will be hard coding the value. Because it's a static process or static memory allocation during compilation time. And then I, I may display the elements one by one with the help of printf method. So this is about our C programming, iterating the array elements. So now let us come to Java, how to iterate the array elements. So again same as for C programming, Java index also starting from 0, I will be starting a loop from 0, I less than, I no need to hard code, because during compilation I don't know what is the size of array in Java. During runtime only JVM or the compiler will understand what is the size of array. So for that JVM is providing a mechanism, nothing but a length variable. Coming to Java, since arrays are object, by using array object, I can call a property length. Actually length is a predefined instance variable. So this will help us to identify the length of array during runtime dynamically. So finally you can look at this condition. So this is dynamic one during runtime, but this is static one during compilation time in case of C programming. And the remaining thing is same as for uh, C programming. And each iteration I want to display my result. So I will say array of i. So now let us run both code, output wise both are same, but internally the memory allocation and data type and object is different. You can see I am getting the output in case of Java and if I run the same C programming, yes I will be getting the same output. It is displaying, uh, I, I didn't include slash n, so that's why it is displaying on the same line. So I hope friends, we are clear about the difference between Java Array and C programming Array. So don't forget, the main important thing is coming to C programming, Arrays are data type. So that's why we are allocating a memory during compilation time itself. And since it's a compilation time process, I have to hard code my uh, array size during the iteration of the array in case of C programming. But coming to Java, arrays are object, it is going to allocate a memory during runtime. So that's why here I will not specify my size. Because it's a dynamic process. And during runtime, on the fly or dynamically, I can identify the array size by calling array dot length instance variable so hope friends it's clear so in our next video we'll see how to make multi-dimensional array in java so thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as I upload the new video, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with your friends.